On Outsiders on the weekend, we showed you some disturbing content from Holland of a Dutch TV show where transgender individuals strip down in front of children. In case you missed it. Gewoon bloot, in gewoon bloot gaan volwassen mensen geheel uit de kleren zodat wij er wat van kunnen leren. Deze kinderen uit groep 7 en 8 mogen aan hen alles vragen over hun blote lichaam. En vandaag hebben we als gasten transgenders. Het gaat echt om het gevoel wat je van binnen hebt. Ja, en dat... Nadat na, na, je een operatie hebt gehad. Anne Chris, hoe voelde dat? Uh, ken je het woord euforisch? Nee. Oké, okay, dat is echt heel blij. En de UK's Channel 4 also seems to think kids should be exposed to naked adults. Why? As teenagers, you're always thinking, I'm so fat. There have definitely been times that I've looked in the mirror and hated what I see. This is a baby step. To becoming more accepting of who you are. Being naked is not a bad thing at all. Zero, please. In you go. I think it's time that we see what real male bodies look like. Whoa, naked men. <laughs> Do you know what? Your happiness shouldn't be reliant on whether you have this perfect shape. A groundbreaking new series, Naked Education. Kosha. Why? That was my question before the clip, and it remains my question. Why is it necessary to expose children to this uh, and film it and normalise it on television? That is the question. Why? And the speed with which this is happening and getting mainstreamed in society is really also quite startling. Uh, I don't know. There's something where people are just going along with what's fashionable, that's maybe the most charitable uh, description, but there's something probably much more sinister on the spectrum where it does come down to, I think, breaking down family and sort of trying to insert themselves into the, the natural uh, guard mm. that a parent has to be for what the children are exposed to and when. And it's sort of like acceptance and in inclusion being masqueraded as sexual deviancy, really, or the other way around, sexual deviancy is being yeah. masqueraded as acceptance and inclusion. And uh, it's too much. Parents don't want this. Taxpayers don't want this. These are taxpayer-funded mm. media outlets as well. And um, it's it's going so quickly that there's going to be some reckoning, I think. Oh, absolutely. And you're so right. They do try to use so-called diversity and inclusion as a cover for all this lunacy. And, and if you do object, that's their defence. So, well, no, this is just... Uh, Making uh, making sure kids aren't uh, ashamed of their bodies, and it's uh, making sure they know people come in all different body shapes and different uh, genders that identify as other genders. Oh, yeah, this this is going to I think be one of those slippery shoes that people are going to start taking more and more notice of.